WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. Three hours left to go in the trading day, and we have a mixed market so far. Dow Jones, negative 30 points right now, trading 26,528. we got S&Ps, positive by one, trading at 2,906. NASDAQ, positive by five points, just above 8,000, trading 8,003. And the Russell, off five points, or about a third of a percent, trading 1,560. We'll start things off taking a look at the the VIX chart. We open the trading day at 1336. As we've seen the market climb back a bit, VIX pulling back a bit, 1284 currently in that volatility index. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. And so there's your opening bell bar, 26,450. We're now exactly 75 Dow points above that level, trading 26,524. NASDAQ 100, quite an acceleration from 930. We were trading at 7671. We're approaching 50 NASDAQ 100 points above that level, trading 77.17. S&P 500 accelerates right out of the gate as well. We trade from 28.99. We're now a solid 10 S&P points above that level, trading 29.09. Crude oil almost reaching $66 on a couple occasions, currently trading 65.84. Gold contract pulling back, gold trading at 1276.41, and we have the euro gaining some strength with some dollar weakness, euro trading 112.59. In terms of what else you have happening out there, one of the busiest weeks of earnings season this week. And we have, what's the number? Where are they? 140 S&P 500 companies this week alone with their quarterly results, including Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, United Technologies, Verizon, Twitter, Lockheed Martin, eBay, Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla. They're all coming out. Check out some of the stocks moving the action today. You have Boeing with some more negative news opened in negative territory, but that's been some of the bounce as well. Boeing now down only about half a percent. You have Kraft Heinz getting a new CEO. The market seemed to like that on the open, but giving back Basically, almost a dollar of those gains basically flat now with Kraft Heinz trading 32.98. You also had Tesla getting a downgrade. Tesla down 3.1% as they come out with their earnings two days from today on Wednesday. We'll see what they have to say. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up right now live with the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. You got a treat live from 3 till 5. Steve Rhodes and Dave White coming up this afternoon. Have a great Monday, everybody.